Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how to assemble a Troton manual adjustable uh, desk because I don't like that electric nonsense. This is the code of it and this is the, the size. You can use it at 120 or 160 centimeters or maybe even in between. We will see that when we actually install it. Uh, and uh, the tabletop or the desktop or whatever you want to call it, which got a bit damaged in transport, but only the packaging, is melt or piting. And uh, it's actually not related to this at all, but the ones that were designed for it in a smaller so 120 centimeter size were not available, only the big ones. And I didn't need the big ones, so I just get, got a random the uh, top from basically I think it's a living room table or something like that from Ikea so we'll see how that goes open this up and see what we have inside now and this is what we have inside the box I was taking a look at what gives us the 120 or 160 millimeter length and I honestly think up until now I didn't find any reason why you wouldn't be able to only extend half of this rail. So in theory you have it unextended for 120 and fully extended for 160. But if you extend only half of it you can use 140 millimeters uh, top but yeah then again maybe the original tops for this particular desk have directly some holes in them so that's why they only give you two of them with two set dimensions but as i got my own top that doesn't have any holes uh, obviously i can do whatever size i want i think so yeah there's that anyway let's uh get back to the page that shows what we get in here and to assemble it in theory you need two persons and level and Phillips screwdriver and that should be about it so let me get uh, things out of the box and for me it will be the short version in this case because my top is 125 <laughs> centimeters in, in length and it's not 70 centimeters wide as their version is 75 cent centimeters so it's 5 centimeters longer 5 centimeters wider but hey then again they didn't have anything else on stock so I need to go to page 5 because I'm actually assembling the the smaller version at this point hey is this page what really so this is page 5, this is actually directing me to the page right ne next to it. Yeah. And something just fell down. Anyway, let's assemble this thing. I'm going to go get a Phillips screwdriver. Got the rail, the adjustable rail out of its bag. It was in a separate bag to find it easily searched for the screws that we are using they are the smaller uh, smallest inbus that we have in the bag eight of them and we have uh, eight nuts in the bag they are for these screws and for this step then we get this from the bag and this and we will assemble these two together to form actually a handle with this felt i don't yet know what we are doing so that is to be continued and all of this is to be continued. So now the idea is that we align the holes and then put uh, screws like this in and the nut on the inside. It's an anti-slip nut, I think something like that. So in theory it should not come loose by itself. And it should hold by itself while we are tightening only with this uh, tool. So let me assemble it. So at the end that says 5. Probably it's a number 5 Allen key. You simply push this thing in there fully. If we could actually do it with one hand. 
and now we have a sort of handle on it to be able to, to tighten everything. So you go there and yep, use both hands to, to hold on to the nut until it's actually a little bit closer because at the moment it's not close at all. So it cannot uh, hold by itself. Ah, yeah, again, need both hands. And we will do the same for uh, also these holes, just aligned them and also those. And I, as I was saying before, in theory, nothing is stopping you from just adjusting. Come on, where are your holes? Ah, here you are, like this. So it's just half extended. But for that, I think you need your own tabletop like I actually have, but mine is no longer than the standard one, only with five centimeters. So I'm assembling in standard uh, size. After the screws are tightened, we are actually using the felt. It's cut in half. You peel it off and put two on this side and two on the other side, as they show us here. Then we will rotate this thing and start assembling the feet with this type of screws. And I think we are we going for bigger Allen key at this point. Yep, we are going for bigger Allen key at this point. So let's get to it. As you can see, no washers, no nothing. Two more of these to glue, rotate and insert the leg. To assemble the feet, you just slide them in here like this, under, under the rail. As you can see, it's wiggling in there. Align the holes on the side. Then tighten four of these screws as good as you can. And they have Loctite on them and this time it's actually in a proper position because you can feel it, uh, do it doing its thing while you are tightening. Uh, because I had a kitchen table that had Loctite on the screws in the wrong position and it was just remaining in free air and not doing anything. So let me tighten also this one uh, of the feet. This doesn't have a hole on it. So this is the one uh, with the adjustable handle, but it has hole on both sides. So uh, yes, you doesn't really matter at this point at what end you will put it. Also assembled one of these T's which will hold the top. Or is it countertop? Always even, even if it's not uh, in the kitchen. Anyway, I don't know that. The second one is in here. Screws are identical to the ones that we put in here. And I must say at this point, everything is extremely well built really heavy screws really strong so i'm quite glad that i didn't go with uh, another uh, brand and desk uh, that i found this thing seems to be built like brick hopefully also when it's fully assembled it will uh, still give the same feeling so let me assemble that thing uh, on this side with this and then continue with the feet Next, assembling uh, this rail for the feet, aligned it with the uh, holes in this and drop these really long screws, the biggest one that are in here and tighten them with this big one, big Allen key. And hopefully all is good, but yeah, obviously fully tighten them. And then get to the second one and do exactly the same with that one right there. And yes, uh, the nice profile is on the uh, bottom side, which is the top side which actually when this whole thing is uh, in it, on its feet. And the ugly side is on the other uh, one. Next we install all the feet. Obviously four of them. You simply tighten them in here and they are a bit tighter. I think this is the tightest one, but they are tighter than you would expect. But they start to make their 
own way in there probably because some paint went uh, into the hole when painting this thing now it's becoming more more loose and yes it's nice that they left it out of the frame so you can easily adjust it but yes you would need to to use your your strength to lift the corner that you are adjusting from the ground to make adjusting uh, easier obviously but for the moment i i'm tightening all of them to the max and we'll see about adjusting later at this point we flip the frame on its feet for the first time and we need to assemble these two things this with this by simply inserting this one in the other one because it's a hexagonal hole in there if you can see it and uh, this rubber uh, o-ring presumably will uh, will move itself out of the way when it uh, it's reached and this end the one with the pipe on it not the free one needs to go in the side that has the hole which is this so uh, make sure you do that properly and then when it's in you uh, extend them once again as much as you need for the free end to go into the hole on the other side so that one is in at the max going all around this one is in at the max and now i'm going to hold them and pull this as you can see this is trying to move which we do not want in operation yeah i cannot really do it with one hand the idea is that you pull the o-ring like this as close to this one so you make sure everything remains uh, pushed at the maximum the o-ring will not allow them to come together but i need two hands to to make that work that's what should be and they are spread apart as much as they can be i cannot pull it easily in there the o-ring is doing its job make sure that both ends remain connected at all times that's quite important you don't want to only adjust one end and everything to uh, fall down did this step and next thing i want my handle on the right side which is uh, correct like this uh, so i'm following steps from this uh, this page downwards uh, you need to go to 16 if you want it on the other side the problem is uh, obviously i don't have these holes in my uh, i don't know table uh, top because it's a different thing it's not for this desk again it wasn't in stock and i needed a desk so happy happy joy joy i will be aligning stuff and drilling my own hole for these screws to properly uh, go into so i kind of need to skip this step because i cannot assemble this not knowing where they would go obviously this is for the other side i kind of need to come and put this in its position align it tighten it in place with uh, eight screws totally the frame to the top and uh, yeah all of these steps and only then i will see where this needs to go i will put it in this and find its proper position after i find that proper position i need to find this proper position drill other holes yeah it's uh, it's a bit more entertaining uh, in this way but at least i have a desk i'm not waiting for it to to come into stock so let's continue from this step in my situation for you even the other ones are okay aligned this thing in here as you can see it has uh, holes for uh, the table i will link the table in the description i've assembled this table and it's really good and probably the top for this actually came with some inserts like this for uh, the screws because uh, these screws even uh, go in them quite nicely but yeah there's that we are not that professional i'm going to drill holes in here and put directly the screws which is not ideal these are not wood screws but should still work and i must be really caref careful that i have just enough for the screw plus the thickness of this material and don't drill deeper because that would drill directly through this thing and i would have some ugly holes on the other side so this is going to be fun and this is a five millimeter uh, 
drill. Hopefully all will work, but remains to be seen. And it's done. So let's flip this on the other side and see if we damaged anything and then we will drill other holes for that and install that. And as you can see, I screwed up. One of the holes is perfect in here, the other one, this one, was too shallow. Ah, in there, both of them not that good. In here, one of them not good. In there, both of them uh, not great, but much better than the correct ones. So this kind of shows you that IKEA, uh, yeah, the the original top is one millimeter thicker than this one, but I don't think from there we have the problem. Uh, the problem is they they run really uh, tight gaps on this particular furniture, and also that as you can see, come on fo camera focus, the tip of it is not flat, obviously. So that means that using a screw in a hole that is not the same diameter towards the end will start to push material away. So I'm going to take them out. Idiot me. I, I did this in a hurry and always when you do stuff in a hurry and don't, don't think it through you will do it twice. I could have used these as spacers, these as spacers, these as spacers. So, so many variants to make the screw actually be less long and less likely to damage this but hey now I know it's mine because it's uh, damaged <laughs> whatever I'm turning it uh, fit up once again put some spacers hope this will at least partially go away when I take out the screws that's life don't do stuff in a hurry and think stuff through when you are doing uh, non-standard non things Okay, managed to find the proper position for all of this. Drilled holes, put the screws in. These are thicker than the metal, obviously, so no uh, spacers are required. <sighs> but having the experience with these holes not being deep enough, tried to make this deeper just to be on the safe side. And yep, horror happened. Horror is on the other side of this. Uh, I always tell in my videos when you feel like you are having a bad day and you are tired and stuff starts to not work the way you want it, stop. Go out, do something else, work on something else, do not insist uh, because you will just make stuff worse. And that's exactly what I did. I will show you in a moment anyway that this part is okay. Now uh, I've put one of these washers in here for when you pull this thing all the way through to adjust it so it will not be basically metal on paint contact, it will be metal on these plastic washers, uh, washer actually, this one I think is just a spare, so honestly knowing uh, the situation I will never remember where uh, I put it so I'm just putting it in there if one works two should work even better shouldn't they and now we tighten this screw right here in the hole to make uh, this limiter stay in place because it has a channel down there into which the screw will go any day today and now when I pull uh, this adjusting lever it will not be able to, to pull more than uh, this allows it. But I'm going to tighten this screw uh, with the screwdriver to the max. Maybe I can break something else before this day is over and this video is over. Fully tightened. And now this whole thing should be working and I can turn it upside down and show you the huge damage that I created but yeah nothing that I can do now these things were at a level where I could have just ignored them they were not such a big problem anymore aesthetically for me couldn't care less and then hi there huge gaping hole and look at the screw where it is it's deep down in there so 
it could have never ever caused issues in this particular area like it did for the other ones this corner is perfect ah yeah again people when stuff is not going your way just put a pause on it and uh, basically now i will just move my stuff on this thing and start using it forever be annoyed of the mistakes that i did today but nothing that i can do about it anymore and voila height adjustable desk with a huge gaping hole in it but at least working as expected in this unfinished room enough space under it for that i will link the video in the description <sighs> yeah that's life sometimes just doesn't go the way you want it to go so hope this video helps you i highly recommend you get this desk it's really 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 sturdy honestly it's no it's, it's just not moving anywhere but if you don't want to run into trouble get it with the proper counter countertop or top i should have waited for it to come in stock but it was quite urgent for me to, to get it done well i got done i can work on it with some cracks and a huge hole which i will patch up i can get some vinyl to put white vinyl on top of this thing yes it can be fixed but it just annoys me i don't usually mess up nowhere near this badly but that's that if you want to get one last look of it this thing is in here you can simply slide it all the way in it latches on the top and stays in there tucked in nicely until you need it this is a tough plastic it rotates so it will not damage your hand while uh, adjusting it yeah well okay that's about it like it really good my skills today uh, abysmal yeah let's end this covered the hole with a bit of wood filler and now i'm going to put this thing on top of it to cover for all of the errors that i've made yesterday okay failing to apply this thing this thing that i bought it's completely useless it's extremely thin just a tiny crease if you're making it somehow it's there to stay you cannot get it off <sighs> i'm going to continue to try and apply it if not throw it away and be stuck with this yeah this is a fail from start to finish sadly well i managed to do it as you can see basically it's not hiding much in uh, direct sun but from my working position yeah still not hiding much ah <sighs> yeah fail from start to finish but at least i have this nice wood grain instead of a white desk and this will probably scratch like crazy yeah i thrown a little bit more money into this <laughs> desk so ikea when you have something to sell please make sure you have everything uh, for that particular thing in stock for people to buy it when they really need it fast anyway that's about that hope this video helps somebody out there not make stupid decisions like i made uh, the height adjustment is awesome on this thing i highly recommend it the rest of the desk is stable even when it's at the highest so zero problems with it it works even with this non-standard top but just don't be idiots like i was uh, when i uh, worked with it so that's about it hope this video helps somebody out there once again and see you in the next one